Right, hey guys, how are we doing? Back on another video from Jello Apocalypse, continuing with the Epithet Erased series, episode 2. Uh, thank you for explaining stuff in the comments for the last one, because I was very much like, why are they talking that way? Why is it done like this? Blah, blah, blah. But you all explained that the budget, completely on their own back, and that it was based off of a kind of Dungeons and Dragons-esque kind of game, um, which is why the dialogue's the way it is. But as the episodes go on, the animation's better, the tone down on that. So that's all cool. Uh, I, if something's explained to me, perfectly cool. And I enjoyed the first episode, I thought it was cool. So let's see what happens next. So the security people, or the people that worked at the museum, ended up being people that are there to rob the thing that can steal epithets, which are people's abilities, aren't they? So, yeah, let's see how this carries on. Um, excuse me, Miss Tour Guide? Uh, sorry. Tour Guide, what, right, okay, yeah. What did you mean when you said rob this museum? Aren't you security guards? Isn't that the opposite of your job? We're not security guards, little girl. That's just our cover. Ugh, oh, dun dun dun. <laughs> that explains why your tour was so bad. <laughs> that I'm bad at tours. There was just no reason to try. He was trying. See, I told you, the kids can tell the difference. I'd give him four stars. <gasps> four stars, Lady Mira. That's pretty good. He's great, he is great. That's downright commendable. See what happens when you engage. You should be more engaging. Downright commendable. We engaging in this. There's only three things we're going to do. Sneak into the museum, find the amulet, and take your epithet. Oh. oh no! Episode, Episode two. Episode two. Bear trap. Bear trap. Of right. Spike. Crusher. Dark star. No. My boys. My beautiful boys. No. She beat them all up. <laughs> I'm surprised you're still conscious. Our dual tech is usually enough to take mooks like you down in one blow. Congrats. Indus, take our intruders into the dinosaur exhibit and make sure they stay there. Ooh, the dinosaur exhibit is my favorite! Yes. It is the exhibit with dinosaurs in it! It is. Right away, Lady Mera. <laughs> Wait a moment. Lady Mera, if I am guarding them, who Good. will protect you? Yeah. From these guys? Please. I wipe their entire squad out with a wave of my hand. They're kittens. How dare you? We are dangerous criminals! Oh, I'm yep. sorry. What's the most dangerous thing you guys have done? Loiter outside the mini mall? Shoplift some bubble gum? Uh, loitering is a perfectly respectable crime that can be very dangerous. <laughs> Perfect respectable Ow. crime. No, it can't. How? You could do it in front of a truck. There, that should hold you. Enjoy your time in prison. I'm going to learn about dinosaurs. Oh yeah, he has the barrier thing, doesn't he? he makes barriers. <laughs> oh man, my first mission in charge, and I end up captured on top of a pile of my own unconscious minions. No, this sucks. Hey, tall guy. You could have at least trapped us inside the dinosaur bones, like how I requested to be buried in my will. Yeah, no big deal, but I wrote my last will and testament because I live my life in constant danger. My God. I wrote my last will and testament because life is fleeting and you never know when you or a loved one will die. Oh, Ugh, wow. You're kind of a bummer. Anyone yeah. ever tell you that? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, God. So tall. <laughs> if my neck were that long, I could see Lady Mera from anywhere. But we could never get lost. What tall secrets do you know, Mr. Apatosaurus? Apatosaurus. <laughs> <sighs> I wish I were a dinosaur. <laughs> That's so funny. What are you called? Uh, okay. Psst, hey, kid, quick. Let's get out of here. While that big guy's distracted by the majesty of dinosaurs. Huh? You heard that lady with the weird eyes. Once she finds that amulet thing, she's gonna steal your epithet. And maybe mine, too. We gotta get out of here. I guess so. What do you mean, you guess so? 
I don't know. Being a Mundy wouldn't be so bad. I could still run the store. And lots of people don't have epithets, and they do okay. Mm -hmm. And it sounds like she really wants it, so... What do you mean it sounds like she wants it? What's wrong with you? You can't just give up your cool powers. No. My powers aren't that cool, though. Uh, they managed to negate a swing from my soul slugger doom bat of maximum destruction. That's a pretty big deal. Had I hit that lady at my full power, oh, I would have clobbered her. Maybe? I've got this feeling that she's actually really strong. Same with that guy over there. Yeah. Her proficiency is really high. <laughs> well, yeah. It'd have to be to defeat all my minions. Um, I don't know. <laughs> they were kind of... bad? Nah. Hey, don't you talk about my boys that way! They're trying their best! But you have a point. I don't know if I can beat that lady now that I'm boyless. Hey, I know. You can be my new boy! Huh? Okay. Congratulations, little girl! You've officially been promoted to boy! Minion boy! Huh? But first, you need a cool minion nickname. Yes. Quick, what's your name? I thought it was Minion Boy. No, your normal name. Uh, Molly? Ugh, gross! You sound like a sweater. <laughs> I can't have a minion named Molly. See, you're quiet and you wear a bear hoodie. I like bears. I've got it! Your minion name shall be Bear Trap! Right, okay. Okay. Now, Bear Trap, <laughs> as minion, Jesus it's your job to think of a way out of this and do all the work. As your manager, I will wait here and take credit for your success and berate you if needed. Oh, so it's like working in retail. Yeah, you got it! Yeah. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> okay, I can do that. Uh, okay. I think I have an idea. Hello? Mr. Barrier? <clears throat> oh, hostages! Are you enjoying your imprisonment? <laughs> Can I get you anything? Some water? More barriers? Actually, I had a question. That woman is your boss, right? She is my master! Years ago, Lady Mera bested me in an honorable duel. My God. Ever since, I have followed her teachings so that I may become strong like her. She has taught me many important training exercises, such as training laundry and training doing her taxes. Ah. Oh, I do my family's taxes, too. Yes, I have not yet mastered the taxes. <laughs> me neither. I have so many return statements to file. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, uh, grown-up words, am I right? <laughs> We're all dudes here. In return for Lady Mera's teachings, I act as her most trusted bodyguard and right-hand man. Okay, so your job is to protect her, right? Yes. Well, Mr. Giovanni attacked her earlier. Yes. But I stopped her from taking any damage with my epithet. Yes. So I saved your master for you. That means you owe me a favor. Oh. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. I was thinking <laughs> maybe you were take out of this prison? Hmm. I don't know. Lady Mera did give me explicit orders to do the exact opposite, opposite. of that. <laughs> I wouldn't want to upset her. Oh, that's fair. Sorry to bother you. What? No! You almost had him! All right, listen. You want to protect that lady, right? More than anything. Well, you'd better go back there right now before the really dangerous thing gets her. Oh. <gasps> oh, no! What is this really dangerous thing? Uh, uh, quicksand? No! It's minions. Lots and lots of minions. He has way more minions than the ones wow, you just saw. Yeah, go. I've got like ten. <laughs> Hundred! Oh, the minus minions. one <laughs> gives him a nudge. So Goodness, one that is a large amount. I don't know if Lady Mira could handle that many minions on her own. No. You should go help her. After letting us out. After all, we just gave you that hot minion tip for free. So now you owe us two favors. Two favors and two God. favors is worth more than one order. So you need to let us out. Yeah, that's the rules. Mm, I guess that makes sense. All right. He lowers the barrier a bit and lifts the two of them by their collars like baby kittens. There, you are free, and my debt is repaid. Stay here and don't. Why keep the barrier up? Oh, the other guys. Don't cause any trouble. Home. I'm coming, Lady Mara. I don't feel good about lying to him like that. <laughs> oh, silly bear trap. You don't need to feel bad about. I love his voice actor. It's great. Not lying anymore. That's one of the perks of being a bad guy. Bad guy. Oh. Okay, can I borrow your cell phone? 
I want to order a pizza. Oh, yeah. Pizza sounds great. Thanks. Hi, police. Hello, this is police. What? No, stop that! We're not calling the police. I'm a criminal, and you're... <laughs> Hello, this is police. <laughs> one of my minions. They'd arrest us on the spot. But... I haven't done anything bad yet. Uh, you just broke out of prison. <gasps> You're right. Oh my god. I'm a monster. No. This mask has become my face. Oh. No, the best thing we can do now is swipe that amulet from right under their noses. If they want it, that means it's probably worth a lot of money. Probably. I bet stealing something like that would get me some kind of raise. Oh. Oh, maybe even a promotion to the next bonsai rank. It's nice to have the option of upward mobility in your company. Yeah, those are words. <laughs> Come on, we need to establish a secret base. Once we have a base, we can come up with a plan. Once we have a plan, we can swoop in, rescue my boys, and grab that amulet! He touches his hand to the barrier and looks longingly at his pile of boys, like a maiden looking out to sea. Wait for me, my boys. I shall return for you. Why don't we just take them with us? Heavy. You right. Brilliant. Oh, do you know what? that worked funnier the way that they was describing what he was doing. I, I that went with the comedy. I like that. <laughs> Loves each and every one of his videos very much. Epithet erased. Epithet erased. Yeah, we're back, Lady Mara. Uh, uh, come on, come on. Where is it? Banging myself against these stupid boxes. Should have hired some extra muscle. Maybe. Well, extra, extra muscle. Extra. Indus was free. Lady Mara! Oh, perfect timing. <gasps> Lady Mara, are you unharmed? Not exactly. I've broken so many nails. And a toe, I think. Oh, wait, where are the intruders? Oh, I freed them. <clears throat> I'm sorry, what? I owed them a favor, and it was the honorable thing to do. Oh, <laughs> okay, I get it. That little girl must have used her dumb epithet to make you stupid enough to ignore my orders and let them go. No. Nope, I'm just like that. And this, if I wanted something big and brainless to help me move boxes, I would have hired a forklift. Don't be silly, Lady Mira. Forklifts have no honor. I don't care about honor, Indus. <laughs> honor, my yeah. probably broken foot. Now we've got who knows how many thieves wandering around looking for the amulet. Ten hundred, I hear. We're not even sure if it's even in the collection yet. Not here either, huh? This is starting to feel like a waste of my time. Ooh, Tell we me. got another character being introduced. Interesting. Wait, who said that? Ah, he's in the intro. I think he transforms. Hmm. <laughs> You must be one of the fabled ten hundred minions. Stand aside, Lady Mira. I'll handle him. Excuse me. Back, minion! In the name of my lady, you shall face my fist! Hyah! Oh. Did... Did I get him? What happened there? Nope. Oh. Thank God. I was about ten seconds away from strangling him. And who are you supposed to be? Another thief? I take it you're referring to those bonsai blasters I saw knocked out near the entrance. No, I have nothing to do with them. I'm simply an interested party. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. And what exactly are you interested in, kid? The, the museum's been closed like for what hours. I'm not a kid! <laughs> My name is Dr. Sylvester Ashling. I'm a psychologist oh. investigating how epithets interact okay. with a person's psyche. I heard your lackey talking about the amulet during your tour earlier, and I was hoping to get a look at it myself. Well, the exhibit's not open yet, so how about you go home and wait a few weeks like everyone else? Waiting behind red tape is for the general public. I figured there's no harm in getting he an academic so preview. Cool. That's what you're doing after all, isn't it? Uh, right. Uh, but as you can see, my assistant's abilities are a little lacking. 
with all these bonsai blasters running around, very, very, very. I don't know if I'll be able to keep the amulet safe. Of course, oh, no. if I had someone more competent willing to take care of them, I'd be happy to let you take a peek at the amulet once I found it. So, I apprehend these thieves, and you give me some time to examine the amulet. Yes, that's right. Oh, but they're pretty strong. Don't believe her. Be to... I think she's lying. To handle them, kid. I told you before, I'm not a kid. And trust me, if I'm the one dealing with those thieves, they'll be out cold before they have a chance to make the same mistake. Epithet erased. Uh toe is generally broken. That's a lot. <laughs> We're back. Thanks for waiting. All right! Fort Cool Guy Bears. complete! I feel like it's against the rules to take the bears out of their homes like that. Uh, this is their home now. And I told you, you don't need to worry about rules anymore, Bear Trap. You're a bad guy now. Yeah. Plus, these guys are like our guardians. They're part of the Bonsai Blasters, too. Then they need uniforms. You are so right. <laughs> Molly takes a small sewing kit out of her backpack and starts fashioning the grizzly bear a yellow bandana with the letters BB on it. Oh, you carry around a sewing kit too, huh? Yeah, my dad breaks a lot of stuff around the house, oh. so it's good to have supplies on hand. Wait, Bonsai blasters. you sew? No, I knit. So what? You want to fight about it? Ooh. No, I just didn't take you for the crafting type. Of course. I love this. I think they're going to become friends. <laughs> he takes out a pair of knitting needles. I wield both the powers of creation and destruction. He flips the needles back and forth between grandma mode and knife mode like a ninja. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> huh. Hey, Giovanni. Are you secretly nice? What? No! Absolutely not! Say that again and you're fired! Yeah, they're gonna get on really well. I love it. <laughs> Don't tell the others, okay? They wouldn't get it. Only cool minions like you would understand. Ah. Giovanni throws together a black bandana with red accents for the polar bear. Nice! They're officially cool. part of the team. Cool. And once you turn in your membership fee, you'll be an official Bonsai membership Blaster too. Fee. Membership fee? <laughs> yeah. Anyone can become a villain oh, for the low, low price cool. of forty nine ninety nine a month. So there's no skill requirement to enlist. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. I just thought that seemed like a pretty lofty membership fee. I know, right? It's more than my entire allowance. But it's not so bad. If you get other people to join, you get a cut of their monthly fee. Uh, and if you recruit right. enough people, you actually make money. That sounds like a pyramid scheme. <laughs> yeah. Of course it's a pyramid scheme. We're bad guys. scamming you. <laughs> That's how you know it's a legit bad guy group. All right. How do you know what a pyramid scheme is anyways? Aren't you like five? I run a toy store, so I have to know about common business practices. You're five years old and you run a toy store? That sounds pretty rough. Yeah. I mean, I'm 12, but yeah. <laughs> you, uh, you want to talk about it? Giovanni sits down in the fort and pats the spot on the bench next to him. Uh... Come on, Bear Trap. Sewing time is bonding time. That's why they call it close-knit. Um, well, <laughs> my family runs a toy store. My dad makes the toys, and my mom used to sell them. But after she died, dad and my sister kind of just ignored the situation. But we still needed to eat, and no one was doing anything, so... I guess I just kind of took over. I thought it'd just be for a little while, but it's been almost two years now oh, and damn. things still aren't normal again. I still work at the store most nights because my dad and my sister are, um, busy. I'm supposed to be there now, actually, but all this happened. I hope they don't get mad at me again. Aww. You're kind of a pushover, aren't you, Bear Trap? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
See, that's exactly what I'm talking about. You're doing all this stuff for your dumb family, and you're okay with giving away your epithet because she might need it? What is that crap? Like, it's nice to be nice or whatever, but you can't just let people step on you. You're oh, mate, this is... Uh, stop it. Stop. This is me. You're just as important as everyone else is, Bear Trap. Really? Yeah. You're my minion now. All my minions are important. God, you can't cool. have people stepping all over my minions when I'm not around. You gotta learn to stand up for yourself. Got it? No! How's that? <laughs> nice try. <laughs> I'm your boss, so you have to listen to me. Not bad, though. We'll work on it. Good I want all my minions to be the best they can be, so that when I finally become a supervillain, we'll be the strongest bad guys in the world! All right. So... I guess that makes you the bonsai blasters, then. Yes. <laughs> the heck is that? That boy from earlier. You're trying to steal the Arsene amulet. Isn't that right? I don't go easy on criminals who get in the way of my research. Okay. <laughs> yeah? And what are you going to do about it? Think you can stop us, kid? I'm not a... <sighs> Why do I even bother? The boy raises his hand and a hush falls over the room. A golden dust hangs in the air and begins to fall like pollen. What's this? Snow? <laughs> Ew, why is it yellow? Wait. Uh, Giovanni, be careful! That dust puts you to sleep! Huh? I bumped into that boy earlier. Some of that dust rubbed off on me and I passed out. Ah. I thought it was just like weird dandruff or something, but I think he's actually inscribed. He must have some kind of sleep epithet. Ha! A trick like that won't work against my demon energy aura! Ah! Steam rises off of Giovanni's oh, cool. body right. as his soupy energy whirls around him and hits its boiling point. The updraft generates a whirlwind and blasts the dust away in a rush of heat. Cool. He dispelled it? I guess they're not just your average street punks waving their epithets around. <laughs> Listen up, Bear Trap. Now that we're a team, I can let you in on all of my secret techniques, including okay. my special move. Thirteen is my lucky number, so every thirteen times I get a hit in, I unleash a super attack! Right, and it makes more sense now knowing that it was like a Dungeons & Dragons-esque kind of thing, so when they talk about things like Rack, oh, I wow. like this game. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Is that super related, or...? Nope, I'm just awesome! <laughs> I've already got a hit saved up from attacking that lady before, uh -huh. so all I have to do is land 12 hits on him, if he can even survive that long. Counting sheep! He waves his hand and a herd of sheep stampede out of the ether what? with a chorus of bass! Why? What's going on? What's his power? <laughs> is that all you got? This is a perfect opportunity to use my lava grenade! <gasps> Dang it! There's too many of them! The bear trap! Attack! I, I don't have a weapon! Oh, my bad. <laughs> Here, take my standard issue bonsai blaster pea shooter. Cool. He drops a gun in her hands. What? I don't want this! <laughs> Come on, we can take him! Get ready, bear trap! Giovanni brandishes his soul crusher bat, which is a regular bat with a knife taped to it! <laughs> Oh, this isn't so bad. Yeah, they just kind of bump into you. I have a friend who would love this, actually. <laughs> it's so soft. Oh, you know, oh, it's gonna make you sleepy. Cute. Ah! They nibble! They nibble hard! They're nibbling myself! No! Ah! Quit it! It took me hours to make this costume! <laughs> ah! Ah! Come on! 13, 13, 13, 13! Ah! Yeah! <laughs> Oh, there's still like a hundred of them, though. I don't know if I can take them all out before they nibble us to death. I have an idea. It looked like he summoned these, so maybe I can... Shh. Shh. Hush-a-bye. The sheep quiets down, closes its eyes, and grows smaller and smaller until it slowly fades away to nothing. What? What? what did you just do? How do you do that? How do you turn them off? I dumbed it down to nothing. Ah. I can do that with summon stuff. 
My sister has a summoning epithet, and I have to unmake her stuff before it destroys all the other stuff. What? Can you do that to people? I... I don't know. Oh. Uh, uh, bear trap! I haven't... Uh, I'm sleepy oh, no. again. Hey! Huh? You should be more than groggy enough now. How about we see what you're most afraid of? Nightmare fuel! <gasps> what the heck? Pyrophobia, huh? That'll do. Can lull targets to sleep and bring their dreams to life? Ah, okay, all right, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Now, why don't the two of you just stay put until the police arrive? I'll keep that fire where it is, so long as you don't try anything funny. Giovanni! Petra? Oh. Molly clutches the hem of Giovanni's cape and hides against his leg. She's crying. No! Huh. I think I've Come had on, just Giovanni. about enough of you, guy. You made my minion cry. Nobody makes my minions cry except me. Yeah. I've never done this while carrying another person before, but don't worry, Bear Trap. We still have two more minions left on our side. You can't seriously be planning to sprint through that fire. Not quite. The steam Giovanni builds up around him bursts from his feet, and he rockets into the sky, landing on the two bonsai bears atop Fort Cool Guy. What the heck? Teleports behind you. Only halfway, but that's still pretty good. See, Bear Trap? We're safe now. Sergeant Bear and Corporal Other Bear are here to back Sergeant us up. Sergeant Bear and Corporal Other Bear. <laughs> Don't mention it. You're my minion now. We take care of each other. You might find that difficult in a couple of seconds. Nightmare fuel! Whoa, 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 whoa. Suddenly, the footing beneath Molly and Giovanni becomes unsteady. An earthquake? No! The bears beneath them spring to life! No! Sergeant Bear and Corporal Other Bear <laughs> roar and begin to swing at their former comrades! No! He's taken the only thing I love and turned it against me! Sergeant Bear! Why? Corporal I should have been promoted to Staff Sergeant Bear <laughs> ages ago! I can try suppressing them with Hushabai, but not for very long. They're much stronger than the Corporal Other Bear, no! What do I do? Uh, uh, the sewing kit! Oh, yeah! Well, I can throw the knitting needles at his eyes. I was thinking more like hitting him with a ball of yarn. Right! He's wearing glasses. Much more traditional to just bean the nerd. Giovanni scrounges around and pulls out a big red ball of yarn from his man purse. You seriously think you could beat me with a ball of yarn? Not on my own. But when I combine my strength with bear traps, anything is possible. Yeah. Sorry about this bear trap. Standard minion procedure. It's fine. I'm used to being taken advantage of. Okay, there. <laughs> Let's maybe raise our standards a little bit. There we go. I might not be the best supervillain in the world just yet. yet. <laughs> but when it comes to baseball, I can't be beat! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Take that, you jerk! <laughs> Why is he still standing? All right. That's it. No more Dr. Nice Guy. Take that, you he jerk. forced me to use my ultimate attack! Dream big! Ah! Oh, okay. <laughs> is that it? Your ultimate attack is passing out? <laughs> <laughs> what a dork. Let that be a lesson to you, Bear Trap. Never mess with Giovanni Potage, because he is great. Yes. Uh Giovanni? Giovanni's amazing. Please, please, call me boss. Boss! Yes, what is it, my faithful minion? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I love it. This is great. It's great. I think I'll do. I think I'll do like one a week. One a week. 
while I'm trying to do everything else. That was so funny. Giovanni's great. He's so funny. The voice actor's great. And the comedy was deaf that I, I, I prefer that to episode one, but I think episode one was like just kind of setting up the whole epithet thing and like the initial story and everything. So, uh, yeah, that was brilliant. Thanks to my patrons. If you want to have your name at the end of every video, I want to be able to watch patron only reactions such as the original Dragon Ball series. The link is in the description to the Patreon page. One dollar a month is all I ask to help support the channel. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you for that. And if you want to see my videos early, click that join button and become a member. What did you guys think of that? What did you guys think of this? Click like, subscribe if you haven't already. Leave comments down below. Let me know what I should watch and discuss in future videos. I'll see you guys all you guys next time.